Gallagher here. If you want to grow your channel quick and easy, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a YouTube partner in just a matter of months. What's happening? So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to get to the point where I am at where you're bringing in over five subscribers every single hour. And not only that, I'm going to give you a really cool free gift that you can download and use to grow your channel today. And now if you're one of those that's your goal is to grow on YouTube, become a YouTube partner, or if you even want to just make money with your YouTube channel without becoming a partner before you even get approved for the partnership program. And I'm talking about money just like this that's completely automated day after day after day then click the link in the description below because there's a video course I put together you can watch right over my shoulder copy me and set these income streams up for yourself and if you do happen to come over here to the course page and you scroll down you're gonna see something pretty cool these are youtubers that did just that they enrolled in the course they watched the videos and simply copied what I did in the videos and set up these income streams for themselves and now here they are sharing their results on the course page so again, a link to that is in the description. All right, so how do you get to the point where you're bringing in five subscribers every hour? Well, first, let's verify that's true and do a little math because this sometimes poses problems for people that aren't good at math. So if we scroll down here, we can look at the average, the daily average, which is 132. And this increases over, you know, 135, 140 as the day goes on. So right now, it's pretty early in the morning and we've got 40 subscribers in for the day. But as you can see, I generally get well over 100. So as this number grows, this number will grow. But we'll just leave it alone. We'll just say it's 132. So how many a day is five subscribers per hour? Well, it's really easy. Let's just bring up the calculator. Okay, so five subscribers every hour. Multiply that by how many hours there are in a day, which there are 24, last I knew. 120, so 120 subscribers a day. And as you can see, like I said, we're well over that, 132 on average, and this is gonna, number's only gonna get more as the day goes on. Now, the reason why I have to do the math, for some people, it's a little hard for them to wrap their head around. I'll get people that'll, I'll do videos like this where I'll say, you know, how to get so many uh, uh, views a minute, or how many get so many views a day, and then they'll say, bro, if you were really getting that many, you'd have a bazillion views or a bazillion subscribers. So you gotta kinda spell it out for some people that aren't really good at math. All right, so let's move on. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go over over to my subscriber central site this is where I give all my subscribers free stuff and if you do that I'll put a link in the description as well for that um, you should see both links the link to the YouTube course that I put together and to, and to this the and we'll call it the subscriber central site and you come over here and then what you're gonna want to do for this video in particular and to learn how to grow your channel is scroll down here and then click on I put a free roadmap a YouTube roadmap together for you right here and if you click on this it's gonna open up the free roadmap so notice you don't have to put in your email address you don't have to do anything like that all you have to do is click the link and then you can save this right to your computer and so what we're going to do today this is a complete roadmap all right this um this roadmap as you can see right here it got me to uh 10 000 subscribers at the time i did this roadmap and if you notice right now i'm still using the roadmap and we're well over 30 3,000 subscribers and so I continue to use this roadmap over and over and over the the tips in there and this is what it's doing for me and I'm certain it's gonna help you as well all right so let's look at the roadmap really quick and I'm gonna go over the first five points here in a little bit of detail and then just to give you an idea and then you can continue to go through all of these and I will cover all these in detail in future videos um, just to section this out but you can go through all of these tips and some of these once you get them set up you're done and then some of these you're gonna want do over and over again with each video or periodically and then to help you along even further I have a video that you can go to and watch and it's the success formula that I follow that I put together where you take all these tips and then once you're done with the roadmap like once you get these in place and you understand what's going on here then you just follow this formula and you just do this over and over it's just three simple steps and once you get those down you're golden and so let's go back up to the top and just cover the first few steps here and then like I said if you already have this in place that's no problem great then just download this roadmap and then just continue on and see if you have anything else that you've missed so for the very first thing and this goes right down to the your first day let's say create a simple short and easy to remember channel name and now you can change this after the fact um, so if you've already got a name in place and you after I talk about this you want to change it you can do that um, YouTube limits how many times you can do this or how often you can do this but you can certainly change it now the important thing to note with this is a couple things one you want to keep it simple you want to keep it short because you want people to be able to remember it and and when they talk about it they want to be able to you know like Gallagher 
um, or not to get, include myself with PewDiePie, but everybody knows who PewDiePie is, right? It's easy to remember, it's catchy, it's shorter. Now, opposed to that of somebody that has a, a channel name like Fi Firefox 569, subscribe to my channel 3. You know, people put all sorts of crazy uh, information in their channel name. I'm not sure what they're thinking when they do that. But if you can't find specifically what you want, rather than add numbers and uh, characters and crazy words, find something else. Find something that's short, simple, and easy to remember. And the other thing that's important is you're going to want to keep it general. So what I mean by that is if you're in the gaming niche, don't call it like Fortnite guru because eventually Fortnite will probably go away. And now you're stuck. You've branded this channel for per perhaps like a year or two. You've built up all these subscribers under your channel name Fortnite Guru and then Fortnite goes away and nobody cares about Fortnite so your name becomes irrelevant and I got to change it and then when you change your name you pretty much you know destroyed that brand so I mean in particular look at Nike Nike's brand is worth 32 billion dollars if they went out tomorrow and decided you know what we're gonna change our name to um, fast fast runners or some some other name you know for a shoe brand that's that's stupid because they just built this 32 billion dollar brand under the name Nike that everyone in the world knows. That's how important your channel name can be. It can be a brand. So keep it general so you're not stuck on one particular theme or tied to one game or one car. You know, I've seen people that start car review channels and they call themselves Camaro guy 36. Well then, next thing you know, they're they're Mustang guy because they got rid of their Camaro and so now you know, they've got these people confused, so just keep that in mind. Again, you can change it if you already got some weird name that you're not sure why you picked it. You can go in there and change it. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but you want to make sure you get something in place as you build your brand. You don't want to waste your time and efforts on a name you're not going to end up having a couple years down the road. All right, for this next bullet point here, set up your channel tags. So not your video tags, your channel tags. This is important because it helps YouTube to determine what your channel is about. And so it's going to look at your videos and your channel tags and you're going to want those to be similar. So if you're, you know, a gaming channel, you're going to put gaming related tags. So YouTube says, oh, this is a gaming channel and it's promoting gaming videos. So let's make sure these videos end up in the gaming related search results or the gaming related suggested results. So it helps YouTube get your videos out there where they need to go. How to set those up is really easy. If you go into your create your studio over here on the left under channel you're going to go to advanced and then you can put in your channel tags right here they call them channel keywords and you can put in a lot so just um, go on there come up with some good ideas good tags that are related to your niche your, your channel the videos you're going to put out put those in there and help yourself out with youtube all right for the next thing i want to point out here that's very important create or learn to create or have created for you professional looking channel art so when someone lands on your channel you want it to look like it's an awesome channel to be on to be a part of for them to subscribe to it and so if you don't have anything on there or you have like cheesy stuff on there or something that looks like crap they're gonna think wow why would they can subscribe to this dude they can't even make decent channel art their content probably sucks as well you know not that mine's the best but I put some effort into it and uh, we're gonna cover some more details on here in a second but you know got an image I've got um, you know some interesting things going on here it looks like at least put some effort into it now if you don't know how to do this here's an easy solution just simply go over to fiverr.com if you have a little bit of a budget you know as little as five bucks you can have one of these fiverr gigs and buy one of these and they can create some pretty sweet looking channel art for you again for as little as five dollars some are 10 15 but these are pretty cheap gigs to go after so Go check these out if you're interested, if you can't do this by yourself, or if you just want to go with somebody that's more professional to really make sure that you're going to get the most out of your channel art, then try this out. Come over to Fiverr, search for YouTube channel art, and, and look through these. We'll go through a couple more, and then we'll wrap this video up, but the next thing with channel art, I, I split this up because this is equally as important as ensure that your channel art clearly describes, conveys what your channel is about. So again, when someone lands on your channel, you want to let them know that they're in the right place. So if you're a gamer, make sure that channel art clearly shows that you're a gamer. And for instance, for mine, uh, you know, I'm in the YouTube and entrepreneur training, so I spill it right out there. YouTube and entrepreneur training, um, the best effing channel on YouTube, uh, Crackhead Larry said that. 
and I've got a little image here that indicates, you know, subscribe now, your estimated revenue, and I show it increasing. So it almost tells a story, but it definitely conveys what this channel is about. You know, I've got myself holding some money, I got my name right here, so people don't mistake, oh, that's this is Gallagher right here, right? So it tells them what my channel name is, it tells them what I do on this channel, so they don't get confused and leave. You know, if they're not into what you're doing, they're not gonna stay subscribed anyway, so don't hide it. You know, it wouldn't make any sense for me not to put anything here and then let them guess you know if they're into if they're not into YouTube then they're gonna bail anyway so make sure you clearly convey what your channel is about now lastly what we have here is profile pics which aren't as important as important as channel art but you know if you do make them stand out and you do a lot of commenting on other videos you know you make them a bright color that pops people might take notice to them and then check your channel out but as far as that that's about as far as I would go you know definitely do a nice profile pic so it looks good for people so they want to see more of your content if they like your pics if they like your channel art they're gonna want to see more of what you have because they've already liked a few things that you've done they're likely gonna like your content as well alright so if you already know this if you already got this stuff nailed down awesome if not you can go back and change this and, and, and make it align with what I believe is important to grow your channel and continue to grow it and if not if you already got like so if you already have all this fine then just go through the rest of these and make sure you have all these in place and then continue to go through this and this it takes you through the actual creation process and things you're going to want to do um, and then again I have this ongoing success formula video that you can watch and you can start using right now and continue to use this method over and over and over again to grow your channel to help ensure your channel continues to grow here in the future so go get your free roadmap if you're interested in how to make money without becoming a YouTube partner be sure to check out my course page both those links are in the description below with that I'm gonna wrap this up and I will see you in the next video